Hello, my lovely Cancers. <clears throat> We're continuing your reading over here on Patreon. And starting with uh, the card at the bottom of the deck, we have the Princess of Cups in reverse. Likely your energy, or you could be dealing with uh, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, the Princess of Cups is a feminine energy. So when I say feminine, it's the yin energy, not the yang. It's the beta, not the alpha. So it deals with love messages, lightheartedness. In this case, I'm seeing a female here who has been disappointed in love or who feels um, they may have received a disappointing message or maybe dealing with someone who is like this a bit immature. We have the magician or the magic card underneath that in reverse. Um, I feel like some of you are disappointed because of someone whose intentions were not true. They may have said they were going to do something, but really they didn't uh, mean that they were, they, they did not mean what they said, let's put it that way, or their intentions were malefic. So I'm seeing a small disappointment in love here, or you're dealing with a more immature energy. Again, this isn't a serious disappointment, disappointment it's more about feeling like you were let down by someone, okay? Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, however, let us get started. Let's look at the cards here because that's what really counts. Um, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse in your past. This can indicate disappointments, again, uh, resentments, feeling resentful, feeling emotionally unhappy, unsatisfied, wanting, what, wanting to be happy or wanting to be satisfied but not but feeling like you're falling short of that. Um, usually this happens in love, so this is emotional energy. You may be in a disappointing relationship. You may be in a sexually unfulfilling relationship. Um, this has to do with your levels of satisfaction. And here it's saying some of your needs emotionally are not being met or you're feeling like you just can never be happy for some reason. You have the Prince of Staves reversed. Could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is coming off as immature. This person is coming off as expecting news, anticipating news, wanting to hear from someone, wanting to hear from you. They could be uh, a child or someone that has throws childlike tantrums when they don't get their way. Okay, they would rather hide behind their blankie and suffer than to come out and actually express how they're feeling in a mature fashion. So likewise, this can say that there maybe was some disappointing news. Maybe there was some anticipation of receiving some news that was delayed or when it arrived, it was like completely just, just destroying you emotionally. Five of staves in reverse, if you're dealing with a fire sign, they are done with the drama. They don't want to compete anymore. And this clown fight is over for them. So they just are completely over it. And that's exactly what the Five of Staves is. It's about getting out of the drama, staying drama free, or removing yourself from conflict. The time of fighting is over now. You have Desire, uh, which is the Chariot card in the Major Arcana. You want to move forward. You are being guided by your instincts. You're being guided to move on your path now to take the reins. And uh, it's just also about feeling strongly connected to what it is that motivates you in life. You know, um, in this deck, which is the Lover's Path Tarot, desire also can indicate an, a very strong connection with someone. It's something that you want to move forward with uh, just out of pure desire. Um, so I'm seeing Cancer and Fire Sign energy already in your past. With the Three of Staves, I think there's calm energy here, but also progress, expecting things to move forward. There's growth energy. There's the, you know, maybe even some uh, planning going on here. I'm seeing long-term plans being set in motion. You're moving towards something. 
you're, you've already put your energies out here, you're now manifesting something that could potentially create long-term uh, success for you. So, wands are about manifestation energy. Three of wands, that's really great because we're seeing growth happening for you. We're seeing <coughs> manifestation. We're seeing um, long-term plans. Some of you are planning a trip. Some of you have your eye on something out in the future and you're ready to move forward and look beyond where, where you came from. See, he's not looking back. This person is looking at him. He's not looking at her. He's looking out into the future. So you're being future oriented here. You have the desire to overcome despite how you're feeling, which is really great. Let me just turn my gear off here. You have a lot of powerful momentum. I think you're overcoming something here in your past that has been difficult for you emotionally, that has been unfulfilling, could be a person or a situation. Going into your present situation, you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So this talks about the practical reality. Now this, you know, we are going to have a full moon in Virgo, and that's going to be, that's going to be difficult for some people who have been stuck in an illusion, who have had their heads in fantasy lands. This is either about drowning in that fantasy or about coming out of an illusion. So you're starting to see the reality all around you. You're starting to see things as they really are. So the work can start to get done now. You can be practical. You can be pragmatic. The danger with the card in reverse is that you could also fail to see the possibilities, to use your imagination, to see other than uh, the forest or the trees. You know, it could just be like you're so focused on the day to day that you forget to have fun, that you forget to live. Um, to be imaginative, to, imaginative, to, to have dreams, uh, to be dreamy. And we have the Three of Pentacles coming up reversed. This could be a work situation or a relationship. Um, someone here is feeling unsupported, either at work or in a relationship. It could be that sometimes with the Three of Pentacles reversed, it's like a situation where... Um, there was, there were plans set, there were plans made, but when all parties came up, came to attend the party or the, the meeting or whatever, um, you failed to set the table. There are 11 people coming, you only set the table for four people, so you left a bunch of people out. Not saying you did, someone has not planned well, someone has been inconsiderate and is not working as a team. So... I'm seeing like you're starting to realize that there's some distinct lack of shared values and uh, building something up in your life, whether it's a relationship, whether it's uh, three people in a love triangle, or it's a, you know, like I said, a work situation here. If there is a lack of teamwork or shared values, and I think you're trying to figure out what, uh, what is going on with that. Um, I'm seeing also that there could be some one-sided communications um, going on. Uh, this is in your current situation, so you're present. And it feels like um, this is fire sign energy here with the eight of staves reversed. Um, if you're communicating with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius this week, uh, that person maybe received your communications but is, they're not responding because of this Five of Cups. They are going through a loss. They have suffered a loss. They are going through a grieving process. Uh, I'm also feeling like things maybe happen too quickly. Uh, if you're dealing with a, a fire sign or an air sign, um, I feel that someone here is coming off as a bit cold and distant. Uh, and that is because they have suffered a loss and they're grieving. Um, the eight of staves reversed usually indicates blocked communications, uh, 
either on social media or even just one-sided communications, like one person is texting another person, but that person has stopped responding. So you may be thinking uh, what is going on here and trying to see what is really happening. And um, for some of you, this does have to do with a love triangle. For some of you, it has to do with uh, a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, the signs that I'm seeing, like I said, are, are fire sign and air sign. Okay. Um, going into the future, you have the Princess of Staves with the Four of Coins. So, um, again, with the fire sign energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, there's this great uh, positive, fiery energy. Princess of Staves is, you know, she's she's all about action and creativity, and uh, she just rushes into things. She's very adventurous. Um, if this is your energy, there's a desire to take action and to move ahead very fast. Well, not just fast, but there's an exuberance uh, with this energy. Um, she can be a little uh, hot-headed at times, and she can rush into things, but um, this fire sign energy is coming across as someone who wants to protect their boundaries and their resources with the four of coins. Um, this can be someone that has earth sign and fire sign in their chart, uh, moon or rising, but they come across as someone who's very stable, very cautious who's protecting their resources, who wants to um, keep to the status quo. Um, I'm also seeing in the future some earth sign energy here that has been hurt by you. They have their back to you. And um, they may also be a mother, aunt, or grandmother, or some kind of a domestic type personality. With the Queen of Coins in reverse, this is someone who's lazy, they could have mental health issues, they may also just not be feeling well. Um, this person is behaving in a manner, like I said, um, if you're dealing, I see fire sign, earth sign, I think the fire sign energy is moving away from the earth sign energy, and the uh, earth sign energy is someone who could be in an imbalanced relationship with the Six of Coins. I see someone giving to her, and I'm also seeing someone taking from her. So there's like, this is about reciprocity here. It's about exchange. So when I look at the two cards, I see the fire sign as being stingy, and I see the earth sign as being give, more giving, but they're very hurt by the fire sign. So, you know, this, this, <laughs> this reading isn't going to resonate with everyone, but... Just look at these two cards, see how these people have, they are not on the same level at all. Not on the same level at all. Okay, and so, this is what the fire sign is doing. She's got the four of coins, and this is what the uh, earth sign in reverse is doing. She's got the six of coins. So there is exchanges of energy going on, but if you are dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign, or you have earth sign fire sign in your chart, the earth and the fire are not getting along this next week. One is withhold, one is stuck, or wants things to stay the same, and the earth sign is, I think, a bit uh, more transactional with their energy. The next thing I see is with the Seven of Staves reversed and the Six of Cups, that someone is giving up here too easily, they're backing down too easily. So it could be that um, normally when that happens, there could be some intimidation. Someone could feel intimidated, they could feel like, uh, if I try and speak up, I might get shut down by the other person. Um, there, could have, there could be many reasons for that. Uh, mainly, I think it has to do with communication issues. Uh, maybe also, um, I feel like uh, there could also be, like maybe something happened a bit too quickly in the past. 
and uh, one of you didn't want to wait for the surprise, you just rushed ahead a bit too fast. Um, with the Six of Cups, this is a soulmate card, I feel like you close out the month of February with some nostalgia. I think you are thinking about someone from your past and uh, you may be reminiscing about them. This also can indicate someone from your past coming back to you. Um, possibly you may be thinking about an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male energy from your past. Um, you might be thinking how things used to be and remembering the positive memories, remembering the good times you had with that person. So not bad, not bad at all. Your outcome card is the four of arrows in reverse. This has to do with mental overload and stagnant thinking. So you're definitely needing to take a time out. You're definitely needing to take some rest. This could indicate needing to take a vacation or even bed rest for some of you. Um, I'm seeing a break happening here and this definitely has to do with the mental energy. You've been overtaxed, I think, uh, in some ways uh, over the month of February and you're needing to take a time out. So we're going to move forward uh, now into the guidance messages. I'm using the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. And let's see, what are the guidance messages that you have for the sign of Cancer Spirit? What are the beautiful guidance messages that you have with the sign of Cancer? For oh, my lovely Cancers out there who may be watching. Cancer. Cancer the crowd. What do they need to know? We have chemistry. It says there is a strong magnetic attraction here. Yes, so you definitely got the feels for someone. All right. Little magic chemistry going on. Got a little chemistry with someone. This can be someone in your workplace. This could be someone that you have a long distance relationship with. All right, this could be someone from your past that's coming back. Let's see, what other messages do you have for the sign of cancer? We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. And normally I get this card when either you're married to someone or the person you're interested in is married. But there is a marriage involved in this situation. Okay, so um, I'm getting that someone is married but has chemistry with someone outside of the marriage. To be honest, that's what I'm getting. Okay, what other messages do you have for the sign of Cancer? Or like, or it could be that you have chemistry with someone that, that's married. You like someone in your workplace that's married. Or you work with someone that's married and you have chemistry with them. I'm also getting that some of you literally are taking a chemistry class with someone that's married. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So normally this, this says that, you know, uh, this is going to unfold in divine timing. I do not advise rushing situations when this card comes up because they will work themselves out. If you've been trying to hook up with someone, trying to connect with someone, it's just not been working, 
they are on their own divine timing as well. But the spirit will make sure you guys, the right timing will happen, you'll know. It's like when the stars align kind of thing, you know. Being guided to look at the card at the bottom of the deck, you have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. This is your guidance message. Continue to be lighthearted. Continue to be flirtatious. Like, I'm, I'm seeing it more as like your outlook on life. Continue to be that loving, charming, sweet cancer that we all know and love. As much as possible. Obviously, it won't be possible for everyone. because it, it does in, include changing your vibration, right? It, it involves changing your vibration. Which, if you can do that, you know, that's, that's wonderful. One more message here for Cancer. Well, they want to give you, give you a couple more messages. They want you to listen to your intuition. Okay, this is about inner hearing. Sometimes I get this card for people who are a little bit too running at the mouth, a little too blabbery. Talk, 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 talk. Meaning to quiet down, quiet down inside, so you can hear your guidance, hear your inner wisdom. Okay. We also have clarity of belief, which resonates with the Ace of Swords. This is about communicating. First, it's about understanding what are your beliefs around love and relationships? What are your beliefs in general? Become clear first on what it is you believe, then find a reasonable way to communicate that to others. See how he's touching his heart and then letting the spirit move what is in his heart outwards. Okay, that's clarity of belief. And uh, we also have the heart chakra, which I do think needs balancing. Color green, wearing the color green will help with that. Being in lush green environments like the forest. Um, wearing also um, rose quartz, which here you go, this is rose quartz. And uh, pink mangano calcite or mangano calcite. This will help balance your heart chakra. And um, give you that loving energy. We also have the third eye, which is your intuition. A lot of stuff coming up with your intuition, higher levels of consciousness. They want you to be aware. Okay, connect with your intuition this month. Uh, the color purple amethyst can help with that. Um, I'm getting a lot having to do with the heart chakra upwards. Okay, needing balancing and clearing. All right. And they want you to be patient and understand that love and, and, and everything is on its own divine timing. This is not something that can be rushed or should be rushed. Ground yourself. Listen to your intuition. Continue to keep your heart open while you're doing this. You don't want to close down. Um, maintain that flirtatious energy, that lighthearted energy, okay? So I hope this reading has helped for you, Cancer. I'll give you one more message here. We are at the bottom of the deck. We have Feeling Alone and Master. Do not let your fears get the best of you. Recognize that you aren't alone. You may feel like you're alone, but you're not alone. You've got to be your own best friend. We all need to work on that. Okay, we can't expect someone else to love us, um, to compensate for what we don't feel for ourselves. So make sure you give yourself plenty of self-love. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to wrap it up. I will talk to you guys soon. Take good care of yourselves. I'll see you back in March. Bye.